This demo is designed to orient the premium subscriber to the FastGraphs Fundamental Analyzer software tool screening function. Once you are logged in to the FastGraph charting tool, you will notice that you have the opportunity to go directly to the screening tool by clicking on the blue button called screening. Simply click on that button and it will take you directly to the new and improved screening tool. The screening tool is designed to, to allow you to screen through our over 11,000 stock symbols um, utilizing either historical data, for example, the five-year historical EPS growth rate, ten-year historical growth rate. And one little trick is if you click on both of those buttons simultaneously, it should help you find companies with very consistent earnings growth. Um, you can also look at historical valuations uh, and multiples, you know, where you have, um, um, you know, whether the company is undervalued or overvalued. You can also look at forecasting aspects. So this is all under the growth and valuation button. And then we have the dividends um, and returns button where you can screen for, you know, historical total annual returns, for example, 5 to 10 percent or greater than 10 percent, five-year estimated total returns. Um, and, and one suggestion we have is be realistic when you're clicking these buttons because the idea here, you're not going to find as many companies with 20 percent, you know, estimated total returns, uh, annual returns, as you will for companies that have maybe 5 to 10 percent. Um, but one of the other tricks about using this tool that we would like to suggest is um, is that to kind of keep it simple. The you know you you can screen for all of these things, but you really kind of complicate the screen. But what I'm going to do is go through a quick example here and try to show you some maybe tricks and give you some tips on how to most effectively utilize this tool. For example, um, since I know that you know most companies, um, the average company has grown between five and ten percent a year, I might want to look for above average companies by clicking on five year historical EPS growth rates of greater than ten percent. And once I click on that button, the first trick is wait until you see a number show up in this column because that tells you how many of the roughly 11 to 12,000 symbols um, you know, have, have been found that have historical EPS growth greater than 10 percent for the last five years. And I might also add the 10 years. Again, this would give us consistency. So now that I've checked these two buttons, I now have 820 companies you know, that fit in, in, into that category. Uh, and so I've, I've reduced my screen you know, even farther. And then you know, I can then maybe perhaps look for dividend yield. So I might want to look for a company with, let's say, a 2 percent dividend yield. And I click on the 2 percent you know, plus dividend yield here. And again, I wait. Has loaded my screening number in the right-hand column. Now, um, I'm going to stop here because one thing I also suggest is don't, don't get too complex with this. Try to keep your screens using as few data points as you possibly can. What we've come up with now, we have a final screening result count after I've gone through this screen of 85 you know, companies. Now, what's important about that is that now I now know what my target screening situation actually is. Now, this is an important, I think, tri you know, trick here. I've got 85 stocks. Before I actually run my screen, if I go down here to the bottom, I have this drop down window. If I click on the 100 number here, that will include all 85 stocks that this screen has given me. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Once I've clicked that, you'll notice the flashing screen button and the screen has started. Now the point here is when you see blanks like this, recognize that the screen hasn't gone through its full process. And, and at this case, I still only have five companies, so the screening tool is still functioning. I haven't gotten all of the results that I'm looking for yet, so sometimes you just have to be patient and wait. Now my screening is complete, and you'll see here that I have all 85 companies you know, have been screened. And so if I just continue to scroll down here, I have all of these companies. Now there's a, there's a few other little tricks here that I think make the screening tool um, uh, uh, easier to use. One thing that you can do is you can go down to the bottom where you see all the symbols listed here, and you can copy these these symbols down here at the bottom by just, you know, the standard way that you would copy anything. And then from there, you can go into your portfolio section of Fast Graphs and actually create a portfolio loading that screen that allows you to manipulate this data um, a little easier. Or you can just simply go to any one of the stocks. Um, and for example, here's Intel that's screened out and click on it and you'll be taken to your Fast Graph on Intel where then you can, you know, begin to manipulate the data as you're accustomed to. Once you've run a screen and you're done and you want to start over again and run a new screen, all you have to do is simply click the screening reset button here and all of your factors will reset and you can then start all over again. And you can do that at any time in the process. Um, you know, from a standpoint of these screens, you have the ability to run your toggle buttons here that, you know, that will put, um, you know, 
precise numbers in here or you can just simply use these greater than or less than buttons to you know come up with different um, you know aspects of what you're screening for so you have other options there um, you can also choose sectors for example you can limit your screen only to healthcare you know this would be another way to keep your screen you know at a minimal you can include or exclude ADRs for example and you could also include or exclude indices not all of the um, symbols in um, the fast graphs research tool are common stocks we also have indices and you know various ETFs and funds are available in there also however I do want to remind the subscriber that really this tool is designed to look at individual stocks and it doesn't really you know provide anything any real benefit at least in my opinion when looking at indexes but you can also include stocks that trade in Canada um, so you have you know several options that will give you you know various screen and here whatever I've done here and I haven't even really kept track of it myself I've come up with um, 22 names so what I might do I'll increase this to 30 again as I showed you earlier so that I can go ahead and get all of my 30 names in this one screen now I just patiently wait for the um, you know screening tool to load and now I've got all you know of the 22 names that I you know suggested screening for and again once again if I want to I can copy these names um, by just simply running my mouse across here and then you know hitting copy and then I can load this into a spreadsheet or I can load this into one of the real tricks is I can take this into the portfolio section of the website and I could create a new portfolio and I'll call it screen um, just to illustrate this and I'll hit add or edit and then I can just simply go in here and paste this last screen that I did and then hit update and I've just now created a portfolio that I've called screen um, that you see down here at the bottom and now I can go into this portfolio and go into my normal portfolio routine and then I can add or delete um, you know columns if I want to if I wanted to add um, you know for example what the actual dividend was I could make this in this example I'll make this my 10th column so I've just added it here I regenerate the portfolio review and now I've added my my actual you know dividend in, into the column so once you're into the portfolio section um, you can you know manipulate the data in any way you want to um, those are some of the basic uses of the screening tool um, don't be afraid to to, you know to break it play with it um, if you get kind of you know into something that gets befuddling then my suggestion is just hit the reset button and that takes you back to the beginning where you know you're starting with your roughly 11,000 companies always remember to go to the bottom of the screening tool here and try to coordinate you know however many results you've you have received with how many you want to look at or maybe you just want to limit it to 5 10 or 15 you know again that's the um, um, you know purview of the user or the call of the uh, of the user at all you can choose by sectors um, you know you can look at things like betas you know all these things I'm gonna uh, allow you to kind of review those for yourselves but the basic functionality of the screening tool is real simple we suggest to um, you know do as few screening options as possible to get you know a, a better result but you also have the ability to run multiple um, metrics if you choose to if there are any further questions um, on how to utilize the screening tool, you know you can always call us at 813-960-9600. We'll be delighted to answer any questions or help you understand or, or utilize the tool better.